hall are green and the church are burned back. Dearly beloved, welcome to Burnback's church. You may be seated. This is the big one. DDB's ad of the month. For someone, an opportunity to be anointed by the man himself. But for most, like Paula Green, more of the same. Months of being invisible had started to weigh heavy. She wanted a place on that board more than any award. Awards were made of juries. This was burn back. She barely had time to notice how much small. Miss Green, today you came a close second. I liked your work. Meet Helmut Crown. You'll be working together on Avis. You got 90 days. Small caveat, Avis hadn't made a profit in 13 years. If Avis were a car, it'd be a beetle. Not the biggest, not the best, and not the market leader, but very reliable. Hertz, on the other hand, was more like an American muscle car. Finely tuned, lightning fast, and all importantly, number one. They had 61% market share when Paula was given the task. According to this, Avis had a measly 29%. Like most, its CEO at the time, Robert Townsend, had an unwavering faith in the church of Burnback. So much so that he had indirectly handed Paula every creative's dream. A cart blast. Whatever she made, Townsend would run. So, Paula got to work. She posed as customers, checked for dirty ashtrays, read customer letters that ranged from complaints about missing spare tires to praise for back seats clean enough to deliver children on. She arranged meetings with executives and employees to find out how the business really worked. She was searching for its essence until she found it with a deceptively simple question. Simple, memorable. DDB loved it. With the mock-ups done, the research department set to work on testing the campaign. At the core of the idea and delivered masterfully in just seven words, was an exhaustive history of the struggles faced by challenger brands. Trying harder is not a choice. It took Hertz's greatest strength that it was first and turned it against itself. In just a few days, it became clear if they ran the campaign, Avis could go out of business. Townsend hated it. Consumers hated it. But, I recommend that you run it, but only if every Avis employee lives up to this promise. They have to try harder and there can be no mistakes. Look what we did for VW. We used a similar approach and managed to sell a German car in a post-war America. It could work. Townsend's resounding faith led him to say yes. His team would go on a We Try Harder tour. 30 US cities, Atlanta, LA, Chicago, Dallas, New York, Denver, San Francisco, Charlotte, Seattle, and many more. They had to make it clear to every employee that the fate of the business was in their hands. A single unclean ashtray, a missing spare tire, any broken windscreen wipers, no gas in the tank, and it had all been for nothing. When we started, this business was $3 million in the red. About a year later, it was a million and a quarter in the black. The campaign wasn't that we were number two, but that we try harder. We know that it's human nature, if you're number two, that you will try harder to get to be number one. It's the nature of human beings to try to be ambitious and get to the top. Ladies and gentlemen, 
people believed us. In addition to believing that we wanted to get to the top, they also felt that we were the underdog. People like to align themselves with the underdog and believe that they are helping someone to get ahead. I present this month's award to Paula Green.